If you've been hanging out with us this season, you know we're all about showing you the absolute best ways to take advantage of this amazing state. And you'll also know we're based out of Boise, but we're not gonna let that stop us from experiencing the absolute best that Idaho has to offer. And there's a lot that's worth making the drive to see. So that's why for this episode, we're making the seven and a half hour drive from Boise to Coeur d'Alene to kick off an epic weekend in Northern Idaho. And I can't think of a better way to start our adventure than hundreds of feet up in the trees. I'm here with Paul Butters of Timberline Adventures and we have an awesome day planned. What are we doing? Well, we're gonna do some zip lining. I'm uh, so excited. So the property is 20 minutes from Coeur d'Alene. Uh, okay. We bring you out in vans. We jump in Yamahas and UTVs to take you to the top of the mountains. About a mile ride up, about a 10 minute ride in UTVs. And there we're zipping all the way back down to where the vans pick us up. Awesome. Before we could get to all that though, I needed to get strapped up. Perfect. My two guides through the trees today are Libby and Max. There are also the ones trying to walk me through putting on my harness, which isn't as easy as it looks. This goes over my head? Yeah, this one. <laughs> there you go. I know, it's not a great <laughs> I eventually got the hang of it though. Perfect. Okay. okay. After saying hi to the official Timberline Pups and finding a helmet that actually fit me. I don't think Perfect. We're good. good. Okay. Cool. That's good. <laughs> we all loaded up in the ATV and headed off to our first zip line. As excited as the dogs were, they couldn't come with us, but even without them, it was a very fun and scenic drive. After about 10 minutes, we pulled up to our launch point. And I followed Max and Libby on a super short walk. Oh, it's literally right here. That's cool. Before we got started, Max gave us a safety briefing. So, first things first, we ask that you guys don't grab the cable. Uh, easy way to get summer fingers. Summer here, summer there, summer everywhere. Max will be zipping first to catch me on the other side. Alrighty, see you two down there. And Libby will be zipping last to help me get all set up. Break that line clear. After Max gave the okay, all right, it was my turn. Zip on. Right. And go. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Once Max got me down and Libby caught up with us. It was time to walk across the platform and link up to our next zip line. Even though being more than 100 feet off the ground might seem intimidating, it's not a big deal if you fall. You are connected to the tree with two points. The okay. carabiners breaking strength, I believe on those ones, this is the equivalent of about a 900 pound man jumping off the tree would hold that much weight. Okay, so. I could zip a bus if I wanted to. You could zip a bus? It would be very inconvenient, but I could do it. <laughs> With that information, I had to walk on the edge. Whoa, wow, that was scary, that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> These are cool, I mean, it is really cool because you don't have to worry up here. Yeah. Strap into a tree. <laughs> I didn't make that jump, but Max took the leap onto zip line number two. All right, I'll see you guys over there. Of seven zip lines that we get to experience today. 
Each line gradually gets bigger, which is great if you're afraid of heights because you really get to ease into it. And then maybe you'll even feel comfortable going backwards. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> However you choose to zip, it won't be long before you make it to your full suspension break. <laughs> okay. See, you're way slower than I am. <laughs> you're going backwards here. Come on. Okay, Cut you're some slow. Slack. You're slow. All right. Please go. <laughs> Can I do that? He's more scared than I am, <laughs> so it's funny. <laughs> Are you freaked out? <laughs> I really enjoyed it, but I'm not sure my fiance slash photographer can say the same. Someone's afraid of heights. <laughs> well, that someone isn't me, and it definitely isn't Libby either. Once we had a good laugh, it was time to keep on zipping. We are now officially halfway through the course, but we have to walk to the next portion. And there's only one way down. I wasn't quite ready for a uh, whatever that was. So I attempted something different. Or can I like trust fall or will I like get whiplash? I can trust fall. I'd say out of the three of us, Libby is the only one who did this jump gracefully. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. <laughs> From there, we walked for about five minutes. And then we arrived to a beautiful lookout. A beautiful sight. Drink some water learned about the area, and headed to suspension bridge number two. This bridge is crazy. So the last one you said was 50 feet and this is 100? 150. 150? Yep, three times a month. Is that all? That okay. All. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on in. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, this isn't intimidating at all. It creeps. <laughs> Added effect. Whoa. 150 feet up? Ugh. You scared? Oh my god, I almost fell. <laughs> and I'm doing it with no rope. Whoa. Whoa. Come on. <laughs> Do I get workers comp? Do you get workers comp? No. Jeez. You get to marry me, that's what you work for. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cool. <laughs> Once I made it to the platform, Max gave me a little history lesson and told me that this tree we're in right now is more than 400 years old. This tree's been around longer than the U.S. Oh my god. Once Max was all set up for the next zip line, he waited around a bit. <laughs> See, then I say, what are you doing? And you say... Oh, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> and then went on his way. Whether you want to freestyle your leap, one. 
or take it normally. The best part is that this experience can be whatever you want it to be. The only restrictions are that you have to be at least seven years old and weigh less than 260 pounds. But it's something that's fun for the whole family, especially this next part. We're headed to a literal treehouse in the middle of the forest to take on our final and most intense zip line yet. From there, you'll take the stairs, which are beautiful and made from other trees on the property. It'll lead you to the last zip line of the day, which comes in at 1,600 feet long and 450 feet high, and it does not disappoint. Ribbon. So I just go like this, right? Yep. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Head to ZipTimberline.com and make a reservation. <laughs> and maybe practice some of your moves ahead of time for when you eventually have to get down. I'm like, I'm ready. A big leap. <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh my gosh. Stop it. And after so just a fun. few hours, our beautiful day in the trees was over. Yeah, I know. For the graceful part. <laughs> I'm free. Okay. Thank you. That was awesome. After we drove back down, we said our goodbyes and headed towards our next adventure. Up next, we'll tell you how to find this amazing natural water slide. And later, we'll take you on one of the most beautiful bike rides in the country.